I love speed. Yeah, I do. I can't help myself. <laughs> Anything that you can go fast on sort of been my life since I was a kid and really sort of got a buzz from being on the edge. Growing up in Bendigo in central Victoria, in Australia, we played sort of Aussie rules football, soccer, cricket, were all the sort of sports you did there. But yeah, I sort of was into my bike riding and raced BMX for quite a few years and then got into motorbike riding and, and ultimately raced motocross for quite a few years as well. But sailing for me was always one of the sports that I did and I, I really enjoyed it. Both my parents really enjoyed it and spent a lot of time at our local lake. Mum and Dad, you know, they didn't come from wealthy families, they just came from, from sort of working, working families. Every dollar got spent, you know, in the right direction. We didn't have a lot. Yeah, my first boat, I think we bought for $50. I sold that and bought my next one, saved up, and that was $150. And it sort of just went from there. My first motorbike was $50 as well. I basically just worked and paid that off. So Dad had a little black book that we used to mark off every time I mowed the lawns and washed the cars. He put another couple of dollars off and eventually I'd sort of pay that off and you'd keep working and eventually then you'd buy the next one. And that's sort of how I grew up all the way through. You know, I think I was about 13 or 14 years old where I, I really had to you know, make a decision as to, as to which way to go. Sailing or motocross, I really wanted to do better in both, but I couldn't, so I had to choose. And ultimately, sailing was the, the, the winner out of that. He's pretty much following our course. And three, two, one. You know, I'm not the tallest bloke in the world, and sailing boats that are, you know, generally require sort of tall up to be fast. I've sort of had to really think outside the box over the years to, uh, to sort of hang in there and be able to compete. I think that's probably what's been one of the drivers as well as, you know, being told when you're sort of growing up that you were too short for this and you were too short for that and, you know, too small for a lot of sports. It's a real driver. You know, you want to prove people wrong and you want to prove to people that you can compete internationally and at ultimately Olympic level. You know, you put the hard yards in and that really stokes the fire in the belly to get out there and actually beat some of those bigger guys. You know, I think that's something that's definitely driven me and certainly pushed the performance side of things with myself a lot. And I really enjoy pushing the limits and the boundaries of what's achievable and that feeling of being on the edge and just in control, whether you're on a bike or in a car or on the boat, you know, really ticks a lot of boxes for me. Glenn Ashby. It's been a lot of fun and um, you know you can't win them all but you can win most if you try hard. <laughs>